Good day, Eivor. I want to see the Alliance map. I have received a unique summons from Snottinghamshire in the north. From your old friend, Vili. Vili? A name I've not heard in ten winters or more. How is he? Well, it seems. Vili asks that you join him in feast and celebration, in honor of his father, Heminger Jarl. A welcome invitation. It will be good to see him again. It is worth recalling that his father, Heminger Jarl, would be a formidable ally. Will you go? I will leave for Snottinghamshire today. Good. They will be pleased. This must be Snottingham. Saxon and Dane live in peace. I expected nothing less for land under Hemingway Jarl's rule. I have. It's Nottingham. It will be good to see Billy again. Pour the meat! Eivor has come to Nottingham. Let's go! I can out drink Make sure the supplies are secure. We may set off at any moment. <laughs> Do I trust my own eyes? Is that truly who I see? Trygvi, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Vili? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Vili's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe. ...to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Heminger Jarl looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Billy and his father since... ...were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries... ...you should know that Vili's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Heminger Jarl is an ox. So he is, and he'll be pleased to skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come, the swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the wolf kist to the encampment. Spilling the dew of slaughter. A reputation is the price of victory. Aha! Indeed! the sea beasts. Eivor Wolfkist is here to escort us upriver. I remember when Billy and I were small children. You spun many epic yarns for us over the hearth fire. But I do not remember you telling us how you came to serve Hemminger Jarl. Is it a tale worth telling? It is. 
But a sad one. I suppose I will escape you are now. Hicks ashore! Protect the convoy! Oars! Back us around! The convoy is laid bare! Hicks on the rich! Got the convoy! Wolfkist. The convoy is unscathed. Hemingegar will be pleased. Bring the sail in. Hey, what's the matter? Make for the dock. to go to Stoneberg, but our camp is just ahead, so hurry on without me. Vili and Hemingegar will be pleased to see you. Shred my sheepskin. That there is Eivor the Wolfkist. Eivor! Hey! Hail! Are you drunk? We have not laid eyes on you for some ten winters now. Hail, friend. The Picts cower. Freya's kiss. You came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Hemingyayal. One of the happier messages I've had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifur. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It's good to see you again. Hey, uh, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon. Before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. This matter flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stoneberg. Should any Picts escape, it will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. But I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You're not slurring, Willy. Have you misled your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorp. Trick V and A4 have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower, their war chief's weapon in hand, drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? You can have your glory, Vili. I'm here to support you and your father. Such humility. Where is the Eivor I once knew? Old times, then. And new alike. Fight, Heminger sons! Bring victory today, for tomorrow we feast! My heroes, may they burn with flame unbridled! The pit chief hides behind his bed like a Yeah! No glory for the pit chief hides behind his bed like a cow. No doubt you will be. Flames! Oh, 
You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Heminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> son all the more but he lacks the trust of our Danes and I am running out of time to persuade them you are sick and you accept it unlike my son he thinks me immortal because he must he does not want what I have to give him was it Billy who summoned me or you Emminger I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it, of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trigvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. Both men are honorable, but they do not hold a bearded axe to hemming a yawl. Let us not burden ourselves with the all-thing choice yet. Your sight is clear and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. Philly departs for kinder downfall soon. Ride with him, and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer.
Billy. There you are. Come. Ride with me to the falls. They are Freya's gifts to these unforgiving lands. All right. But if I don't faint at the sight of them, you've oversold the view. You fight with impressive skill, I should say. I taught you well. You taught me how to fight empty air, Billy, and trees and snowdrifts and the like. No, I am certain I saved you from a snowdrift once, and a murderous tree. That's how I remember it. Any man who would call a tree murderous is a man who's had one too many blows to the head. That tower there, it recalls the broken wall in Norway on the road to my uncle's. Remember? I do. I remember the bite of that winter's chill as we sheltered from the wind for hours. It was you who got us stuck there. Searching for the chickens you let loose before the Yule Feast. I'll have you remember. It's good to ride with you again, our stick. I told you, that was meant to be a dragon's tail. It was a woody little twig in my eyes. No dragon's tail. Must I remind you of your own disrobed adventures in the pre-dawn streets of Stavanger? Eivor the Pantless, a head soaked with mead, and many pockets full of vomit. A dragon's tail it was, then. Are you sure you want my father's mead? Not afraid you might wake up tomorrow, naked, face down in a hog's pen? Is that what you call your house? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Stonebur, was Trigvi not sent there by father to help? We must go. What happened? I came too late to stop this. The Picts set fires and ran. They meet to spite us. There are more people trapped within. Free them, Eivor. Tend the wounded. We'll get them out. Things. Get to Drickvi. You'll be safe with him.
What do you see? Oh, my dear Hilda, why? I cannot live without you. I cannot bear to go on. Forgive me. Eivor! Eivor, where are you? Get over here! There's nothing you can do now. Get to safety. Billy! Where are you? Answer me! We need to clear a path. Neighbor, you carry the woman. I will have to wait. You are staying here today. <coughs> oh, thank the old father. Hold on to me. I can get you out. I thought I might have to rescue you, Billy. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Billy. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. Good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same arse stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Oh, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinder Doomfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Billy, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Eminger Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Billy wasn't taking it well. Billy lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside. ...and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future. Yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself. Fall is beautiful. Now, where is he? Eivor! 
You found my secret hoard. I would be deaf to have not heard you singing. Your crow's cackle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishers with the Picts have worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. I mean, look at my father, a battle-worn veteran carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I would use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the Corpse Hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You would always be welcome to live and prosper with us, but that is a matter between you and your father. I could make the old man understand. But I have no desire to be Jarl, and he must accept that. You defy a long tradition, Billy. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. And you are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the longhouse! Coming are yards at the edge of death. I must see him before he goes. Will Hemingar now go to heaven, Mother? I... I hope he will. If he has accepted Christ into his heart, the Lord will certainly receive him. Oh! Lock, lock the Oh dear Hemingar! Our Yara! Eivor! Hey, He'll soon join our court. Hemingar, your... long past what makes me feel young again hold on to that feeling and take it with you to the hall of the slain you have become a great warrior Aphorn. a warrior and a leader worth worth song and verse I had many good teachers Hemingway y'all you chief among them. I beg of you now. Do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh. From your mother's womb, I watched you grow. A dirty haired boy, swinging sticks and running through the mud. 
dreaming of glory. I... I am proud of what you have become, son. <laughs> and I am proud... proud of what you will become. No matter... I... Uh, I... We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of this shire. The nobles have begun to arrive. Trukvi needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. Be heralded by roaring really? flames. I'm not sure. Hey, Bor. Drenkor. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah, the sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemming Kuryab. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trukvi. I pledged my life's oath to Hemming Jarl. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the shire to see. You've done well, Trigger. This was his favorite spot in the shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later. To save you from them once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthorpe's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He is a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have the time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> It was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of hemming a Jarl. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Hemming had desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. 
Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It's a good idea. But let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. Kissed one, the raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Hemingel left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten, before the pyre is lit. Follow. Come, creatures. You are to serve the gods and bid them welcome our beloved Hemingriak with ale and open arms. You have the gift of foresight, Seer. Can you argue what is to come? I see what need be, Seer. When it need be. A great gift. A great burden. Did Hemingway Jarl consult you often? Did he unburden his woes? We spoke often. Yet too often he left with more burdens than he brought. He worried about the future of his clan. About who would be Jarl. Speak less. Lest our words draw foul spirits to dog us. As you wish. <laughs> Volva, I... Your heart is restless. Your mind clouded. You seek more than a guarantee of good omens. I seek the gods' wisdom. You wish to know who would best serve this clan as Jarl? I do. Between Vili and Trukvi, there's no clear choice. We stand in the shadow of the giant, the great keeper of secrets. Here, you'll find a drink of the resounding sea. Ascend the sleeping Jotun, consume the waters, and meditate at its peak. Do not seek answers to your questions. They will find you. This is the summit. To seek an answer, I should clear my mind. I'm still my own. Is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. 
Why have you not reached Odin's Hall? I've will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. I struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Heminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We are only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my faith then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. Too soon, Hemingway, y'all. Your shire's fate is uncertain. I trusted you to make the right decision. I still do. You pushed me, Heminger. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, Seifor. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? 